We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. This tale is far from over. I am happy to wait. I have all the time in the world. Would you like to hear more? Tell me when you want to hear more. Let me know when you have the time to hear more. Tell me when you have time to hear more. But this tale is
The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from... I am happy to wait. I have all the time in the world. If you miss the dark side tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced. Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. To send tell me when you have time to hear more. Babylon's proud armada, which you would often come to greet. Tell me when you want to hear more. Lay cracked and broken. Cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? This where I should resume that I will continue my story from here next time. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing.
Hylina! No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? Why? Continue my story. Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well for he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. New anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. Oh! <laughs> 
Should I continue from I will continue my story from here next time. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone.
continue my story. This is a fine place to start my tale next time. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here? should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city.
Should I continue from here when you return? Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Is this where I should reason I will continue my story from here next time? Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure this, a staff, a dagger empty hourglass covered in jewels and books such secrets they contained for even then I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end the books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach but it required the essence of the empress herself the power of the sand but you were gone they were gone and so I felt I turned my attention to <laughs> Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What I was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, its guardians. <laughs> Strange tales of the spoke of the empress, the empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure. <laughs> Ah! 
Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. I discovered that a barren, ruined place. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place. Its guardian was a sand. Strange thing on its walls, which spoke of the Empress, an Empress of Time. Of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contain. For even then, I was a man. I knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not a change, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. So I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me. Whispered to me in my sleep, it drew me here towards Babylon. Alas, Babylon did not share my view, would not grant me. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! What have we here? The vizier! Ah, you must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. <coughs> no! Give what I have done, wherever you are.
Continue my story. Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. Should I continue, I will continue my story from here next time. Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Is this where I should resume? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. I am being pushed deeper into the palace, and further from my enemy.
My arm! What's happening? What has the vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you'll have to find another exit from this sewer. I continue my story, I will continue my story from here next time. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who is there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance.
I become? A sand monster? Call it what you will. You have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them then. Let their lives replenish yours. Feels good, does it not? Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! It is, if you want it to be. I do not. But you will. this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger. Maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands. Or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique, so I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster. Uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... You're inside me? Gone now. Water 
father seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun? Should I continue? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. 